Hello, everyone. Hey, Yaz. Happy Friday, Oz. Happy indeed. It's a gorgeous day after a rainy week, so. And if the weather folks know anything about it, it's going to be a nice weekend. In other words, you're hoping that the... You're hoping that the weather guessers are right this time, Oz. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, let's see here. Get my agenda link up. Hey, let's chase your dog out. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's let's get to it. Um, have we got? Yeah. So Nix is here. Um, many of you, most of you, should have, uh, or at least somebody from each team should have gotten um, the email this morning about. Sun 74 problem. Um, we have been working hard. Jessica went and found a problem with Phoenix. I'll do my best to repeat that today. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we we have been laboring mightily to to produce workarounds for that to avoid tickling that particular problem. Um, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, don't don't use Phoenix on the. We actually the, joked about the, that earlier. <laughs> don't don't jump in there on the uh, thing, right? So, uh, Nix, you want to give us the latest scoop on that, please? Yeah. Uh, so, as I said in his email, um, we have a technical solution for Sun seventy four. Uh, I have tested it against uh, 123, and the old behavior uh, is no longer reproducing. Um, so hopefully that will mean once we can get it in a place where we can test against uh, Phoenix, uh, there should be no more asset corruption. Um, as he mentioned, uh, eventually we will have a small patch uh, for you guys to integrate. Uh, it is How eventually? Not it is not required for server-side baking to work. Okay. Um, just once we get it out there and tested, uh, whatever your next release cycle is, it would be helpful if it was in there. Uh, it'll help your viewers um, get their own appearance messages just a little bit faster. Uh, that's pretty much the main difference. I, it my my email may have been read that way, Kitty. It I don't think that's actually true. Usually, you'll be baked correctly because you'll have your old appearance. Um, but uh, we're we're still doing experiments with that. No ETA then on that patch. Uh, soon. As, as soon as I can get it written and tested, uh, I want to make sure that the patch actually works before I hand it out. Uh, just because we're aiming for the uh, 23rd for um, our next release, and it may or may not be some time before we can get another one out after that. Um, and if we could get it in time for that release, that would be fantastic. As soon as I can give it to you, I will. It's it's in a it's in a place that it's 
wildly unlikely you've had any reason to touch. So uh, it, it'll be a it'll be a drop in. Uh, when can we have some uh, servers seems to test this on? Uh, I am struggling to have one to test on myself today. <laughs> so um, once we get it stable and we believe it's working, it will uh, be deployed uh, at least on Aditi um, and at some point on Agni. Uh, and I will send out an email once uh, we believe that the uh, fix is out there. Yeah, maybe we can update the, the regions we'll be using for the pylon to it after once we have a new version, which will be after the pylon. Uh, the, the pylon regions will probably be going down after the pylon, but we can definitely uh, update Testylvania uh, once we have a once we have the code ready. Okay. Well, we can we can fiddle with that as needed. Yeah, it um, would be useful to have at least two regions so we can test this uh, teleporting if it really causes some trouble or not. Right. Well, the way the way it looks right now, we don't have to test the non-server side baking. We don't have to change the non-server side baking regions. So you could use any region for that. Um, no, I meant to test if the viewer gets confused that after a teleport into an SSA region, it doesn't get its own appearance sent. Right. Right. So two of the new regions would be helpful for that test. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We'll we'll get something set up. Okay. Um, so sorry we didn't we can't have had the the actual fix in hand for this meeting, but um, it's uh, people are people are uh, working furiously to do that, and uh, we'll we'll have something as soon as we possibly can and get it out to you. Well, I'm just trying to decide whether or not um, I want to wait on uh, building a, a new QA for beta in our preview group, which was intended to go out on Monday. Uh, that's your call. So, um, I, I, I don't know. I, I, the, the only way I could give you advice would be if I knew exactly when we were going to have the patch. Um, and since I don't, I, uh, I really can't advise you on that. Um, <laughs> no more finding more blockers. Um, okay. No. I don't, well, it'll be in some version, but it won't be in the primary download. No, it won't be in the default download. It, yes, uh, it, it will be published before uh, we flip the switch, but it will not be in the default download. Um, this patch is not a requirement uh, for Sunshine going up. Yeah. Um, so, well, yeah, well, Sunshine external hasn't isn't the stuff that will go into sunshine external is not yet mature enough to need to be pushed externally yet um, that isn't the, the we're very carefully not doing this patch on the sunshine branch it's being done on a separate thing that will be merged into uh, the other viewers whatever the next available release vehicle is um, yeah, the patch will be separate. Um, we'll put that in a repository all by its own lonesome so that everybody can pull from that cleanly. Uh, it will be based on whatever viewer release is at that time. <clears throat> so, um, and, uh, so, uh, the, um, materials viewer, Next on our agenda uh, is just got a a beta refresh uh, a, a little while ago, I believe. 
Um, I'm actually running the previous one, so at some point it's going to harass me that I should upgrade. Um, and uh, that's, uh, we expect that to be the last beta for the materials viewer. Um, and uh, we will be, uh, that will, we expect that to go to release um, early next week sometime. So. Are you planning to have the uh, Sun 74 uh, message change in that? No. No. Uh, uh, it's not a not a release blocking item, and we're probably going to be doing that build in a few minutes. Uh, so. So uh, so that's that's all coming. So you can you can be looking sideways at the viewer integration uh, development thing, um, which reminds me, I haven't given you the URL for it yet, but uh, I will right now. Uh, make sure I've saved it. Yeah. So. The data on this is not entirely correct or 100% up to date, but it gives you a look at what it will be, um, or approximately what it will look like. At least, um, this is the page that will that you'll be able to use to track what the repositories are that correspond to all of the active viewers that we have in the field. Uh, and as I said, the current data is based on a test database. It's, it's only partly actually correct. Um, but it, it'll show you what the, uh, what the versions look like and how, how it will be displayed, what will be available. So, each one shows uh, what the version number is, what repository it came from, and what change set it was built from, whether or not that repository has public access, um, and um, and if there's a description on the repository, it gets repeated here so that you can, you can see what it says. Um, I'm still kind of tweaking this, the script that generates this page, but it's... Um, it's approximately correct. And I will be keeping that as up to date as I possibly can. Similarly be a page elsewhere on the wiki that the it's actually the the, the same place it's, that it is now the the official alternate viewers page will have the download links for each of these. Um, but we decided those should be separate pages because nobody but you guys cares about who, what repositories they are. But this will keep give you, now that we don't have the viewer beta and viewer development repositories for you to look into the future with, the substitute is this wiki page so that it will tell you what repositories you can see and what's built from them. Okay. Um, Uh, let's see, Vivox upgrade. Um, that is in the pipe, but behind a couple of other things. Um, we're doing some fixes after materials. There will be a bunch of fixes. We think the next one will be brake pad. Um, some brake pad fixes. Trying to clean up some of our crash handling, make it more reliable. Uh, and then there are a boatload of other things that will be hitting the grid. In uh, yeah, it's a the the version of the of the viewer you can get on Amazon is packaged slightly differently, and they wanted the name in it, so it, it uses a different channel name. I may end up hiding that one from the from the page because it the only difference will ever be that packaging.
butter on the page. Uh, yeah, well, if if and when we ever get the steam thing going again, it will probably be similar, right? Will actually be <laughs> if unless they fix the problem um, in the in the future. Well, it's yeah, it's well, you can't get a cell on steam now. It's it hasn't really started. Um, but the uh, <laughs> turns out the the um, uh, the steam distribution mechanism can't handle things that have spaces in the names, so it's um, we we had to use a different name uh, on that. It didn't start with second space, life space, release space. Um, but uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. Maybe they'll have fixed that by the time we actually get that rolling again. Um, let's see. And I don't have any news or update on group bands, so we have reached the end of our agenda. So now we can... Interest list. Any uh, ETA yet on that? Uh, any day now. Isn't that what you said about service side baking in February? <laughs> yeah, well, you went and found a, a blocking <laughs> bug. Can I... <laughs> um, yeah uh, actually I, I am scheduled to discuss it with the team leader after this meeting uh, he said I need to talk to you about how to get a viewer out when can I do it and I said after my third party viewer developer meeting Oh, you should have said before, and that way you'd have news for us. Yeah, I didn't. Um, we're more important. Or, or better yet, you could have said at the third-party viewer development. Meeting. Or that. Yeah, that that not going to happen. Uh, yeah, I could have. I could have <laughs> said that. Indeed, I could have. Um, I didn't. Um, but you'll notice that it. it I did, I even did include it in my test data, didn't I? Uh, oh no. Not that version. Oh, right. Really's got a good question in text. Is viewer interesting the interest list fix viewer? Viewer interesting is, yes, it's the, it's the viewer um, that corresponds to, that, that maximally leverages the interest list changes. And that's, that's the one that I'm going to be talking about how to get out to you. That repository will be going public approximately at the same time the viewer goes out. Um, oh. Well, that's the intention, I believe, whether it does uh, or not. <laughs> yeah, I... I First of all, you know, ass the, your question assumes that is that that it's bug singular, and I think that's actually not the case. But um, I believe that it is it, it is uh, certainly meant to fix the the problems with that uh, and a lot of other things. E less abusive to the network between you and your simulator. Really, I, I actually uh, experienced that same problem. I'm on 441 uh, for release right now, and I had that problem in here when I teleported in. So it doesn't fix it completely. Latif was sitting in the air. Um, I just quickly, I wanted to go back to uh, server-side appearance really quickly. Um, have you guys decided on how you're going to roll it out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
I expected that much. Right. Ask a silly question, get a silly answer. Um, no, uh, definitely, definitely carefully. Uh, we are doing a lot of testing. In fact, we, uh, most of you know, we are doing a uh, Agni pylon um, soon after this at uh, 2 p.m. Pacific. Um, and uh, we have been doing a lot of load testing, and we're pretty confident that we have enough hardware on the back end to handle the load. Uh, and we're going to start with a small group, then go to an RC channel, and then more, and eventually take over the entire grid. So the plan is to roll it out, uh, you know, everything, assuming everything works out well, you're going to roll it out to like a Magnum complete RC, or are you going to roll it into a portion of an RC? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I get the feeling you don't want to stress your servers over no, overly no, right at the start. No one here gets to make that decision, so uh, it it, uh, it it. So ba basically, it's not decided to yet. Make predictions. If we, it's decided, are... it has not been written down in stone, right? We are, we are going to be as careful as the situation calls for. And we are going to be monitoring it very closely. And let's say hypothetically, purely hypothetically, that um, I don't find a blocker today on the pylon, but actually that we find no problems with the pylon. Um, and hypothetically, everything goes smoothly. What kind of a ETA for that initial rollout onto an RC could we expect? I, I'm, I'm trying to get a, a soonest. What's the earliest time that we'll see it if everything goes perfectly? Uh, I don't. I don't think we're discussing dates yet, um, and I definitely want to wait until after the pylon uh, before even entertaining any um, guesses uh, because I want to see uh, how many blockers you end up finding. <laughs> you sound very confident. <laughs> I don't think we have met, had many dates, have we? We try to avoid it. You know, I mean, there, there, there isn't that much. There isn't that much advantage to giving out dates unless you really know that they're absolutely correct. And I'm just hoping did. that we'll still have, you know, two weeks' notice. Uh, yeah. Well, hope is a good thing. Sounds like Oz is hoping he can give us two weeks' notice as well. <laughs> Um, no, I, I, you know, if the pylon goes well today, it'll be it'll be pretty soon. But that's that's as precise as we can be. I, I think I, I think Jess's concern is simply that you know we need you know once we roll four four one with the Sun seventy four message change in it, we really need to have a couple of weeks between the time that, that we that we actually start it and the time we get it out to users and, you know, let them give them a chance to upgrade before SSA rolls. The more time we can spread that out between our release date and when server-side appearance rolls out, the less um, support people we're going to lose. Also, uh, the less stress we'll be putting on the asset server. Uh, it is not, no. 440 is, is not acceptable for well, uh, that's a matter the masses. Of, that depends on what you call sufficient, Jess. Uh, well, are we, we have people. Is, is, are we going to have some 440 is, people running in the pylon today? We should, just in case. Um, actually, that wasn't intended, but that's not a bad idea. Um, yeah, let's have a Tanya, to 440 people in there. Uh, Tanya, we have people that uh, cannot fetch inventory on 440 at all. No workarounds. In fact, the workaround was to install the linen viewer, load their inventory, copy the cache from their inventory from the linen viewer, put it into the Firestorm. That was the workaround. So 440 is just bad. Yeah, I've actually come up with another way to do that, but uh, it requires people messing around in their file system a little bit.
Yeah, it's, it's none of it's good. Yeah, so, that's, that's and and that's bad. actually probably a small amount of, of of users, but it's still enough people that um, and there's other other problems. What, what's well. distinctive about well, okay. those users? Nothing. Nothing we can. We wish we knew. Uh, but just really? you know, the question was in, was in the context of server side baking, and in in that context, four four zero is fine. Plus or minus the sun seventy four. Yeah, well, the Sun seventy four fix is a is a nice to have. It's not a an essential fix. It, it will make a, a a very small performance difference at at most. Yeah, you know, we want to get Firestorm four four one out for other reasons, but it's uh, not, it sounds like you know, it. it. It doesn't have to do. <laughs> it doesn't have to do with server side. We want to get the crash rate down again. Well, we know that we're going to have to do a 442 um, shortly after 441, and 442 will have your uh, sunshine code drop that you guys did, uh, whatever, hopefully also whatever you guys have stirring, which I hope Nix will be able to make available, viewable soon. Um, and uh, as well as would be nice, the interest list stuff. Right. Well, like I said, the interest list stuff will be in a public repo um, real quickly, possibly today. Uh, so, um, so that, you know, coming, coming soon. Um, I thought the uh, logging was turned on by a uh, uh, by an XML file entry, not in the build. Yeah, there That's are half of it. There, there are two places to turn on logging. One is logcontrol.xml. The other is a debug setting. Uh, users who are comfortable twiddling those uh, are welcome to uh, turn on logging if they are running a build that doesn't have those turned on. Uh, but I'm not going to assume that everyone at the pylon wants to go mucking around in XML files. Yeah, I, I can uh, bring my alt in on uh, 440 still, so... Other topics? Um, I think that was it for me. <laughs> Off doing work, presumably. I, 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 I don't know, actually. Last I heard from Baker, he was actually uh, starting to, uh, at least starting on the uh, uh, group ban list. At least, not the code itself, but starting work period on it. I'll, I will. I will try to get you an update on that for our next meeting. I appreciate for it real. because it still is a biggie. Understand that. Are we done early? Really? That gives Nix extra time to work on that patch. Yay! Nix doesn't need lunch. Um, widely, anything to anything that you want to say? While well, since you dropped in. Yeah, I just wanted to mention uh, Project Viewer we just released with a bunch of maintenance fixes and some interesting new uh, little features. I uh, was hoping you guys could give it a shot. Uh, and if you notice any frame rate funkiness, uh, let us know. File a bug. That's all. 
I can drop a link in here. We got which project? Yeah, one sec. Do it's the uh, it's um, it's called beta maintenance, I believe. Yeah, I, I knew that was going out today. I, I hadn't. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So give it a shot. We wanted to get some eyes on it before, uh, you know, before we try to push it, push it out. Uh, Tanya, what did we have a Mac question today? Somebody wanted to ask something about Mac? Uh, not that I recall particularly. I think maybe I'm going cross-eyed and reading too many chats. Nah, you think? <laughs> Um, I can speak to the Project Coco viewer. Uh, we're in the, we're wrapping up uh, last some a last bit of work and we're uh, mostly uh, wrap uh, tying up some issues uh, with uh, input method editor. Uh, you know, with Japanese and stuff and Russian and stuff like that. So uh, on the last uh, last stretch of that, we're we're hoping to get that out pretty soon. You should see a project viewer, uh, an update to the project viewer there uh, in the ne next uh, couple weeks. Yeah, you wouldn't believe the the back and forth we've had with people over the snapshot fix. Well, we knew that was a uh, popular usage, so uh, wanted to get that stuff addressed. See, so you guys are excited about that. You have no idea how excited support is about it. <laughs> We, we've had war in our Jira over a couple. It will be soon. Wait, you've got a fix for the snapshot tiling thing? So oh, really? People that think they have to, to take pictures at 8K pixel resolution can be... <laughs> I'm just curious what your approach was for that fix. We've, we've tried fixing it, too. You would have to ask uh, Dave P. You'd have to ask uh, Rona Tai. I just, I, I merely selected the bug as uh, being important to fix. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's, hey, that's been that a bit of a thorn for us.
So, so does that mean that we can bribe you to pick other bugs that are important? No, no, no bribes, but uh, I'm always uh, I have, um, open to I suggestion. Have, I have catnip. Oh, come on. Surely you have a favorite. Uh, no, open the suggestion, and I'll, I'll always, uh, all ears, uh, um, yeah. Alexa and I, uh, discuss these issues, uh, in depth. Oh, don't tell them that. They all can't tell to hunt me down. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa has my ear. <laughs> God, no, I'll That's never stop hearing from Whirly. <laughs> oh, what you do now? Exactly. You, you don't have to hey, worry about Alexa. Fine. Yeah, we always know we can go to Whirly and she can, you know, go to you. That's at 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, fee the feedback is valuable and useful, and uh, and uh, we do appreciate it. That There's no doubt about that. Hey, Dave just came online. Oh, tech. Uh, tank, get him. <laughs> oh, Attack. man. Attack. That's harsh. <laughs> That's correct. You can so you can uh, right click on an actual single individual particle that is floating through the air, and then block what? it. Um, and it will automatically block any particles coming from the person who uh, set up the system that emitted the offending particle. Oh wow! Makes sense. So it's one of our uh, is one of the features we were really hoping you guys could uh, give a uh, uh, a, a try. Um, we're pretty excited about it. We're not going to publicize it like crazy or anything, but uh, that's think, okay. We'll uh, do it for you. I'm it's kidding. pretty. We think it's uh, pretty powerful to uh, help uh, manage annoying content. Yeah, that's that's got a lot of value. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, Glad you're excited. Cool. Jeez, you guys have been picking stuff with a lot of value lately. That's good. You you flatter me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just a reminder, as always, with you guys testing any viewer build, uh, if you run into serious problems, if you're seeing something that just does not feel right, um, all of you are free to IM me at any time. As you all know, Whirly can get me 24-7. Um, so please feel free to reach out and contact me if you see something that is serious. You may regret having said that. If you tell me that you, uh, that you, remote, that you run SO remotely from a screen, screen in your bathroom, I'm going to question your <laughs> now I have a little bit more of a life. <laughs> yeah, I put that. I put that new beta maintenance viewer on the wiki page on the on the repositories page. Oh, thanks, Sas. We, we have some more interesting stuff coming here in the future. Uh, this is just the first batch of what's been kind of lingering in our main backlog for a little while. Uh, I think you guys will like the next batch of stuff for uh, coming along soon. Oh, wait, we're still struggling with Chewy. <laughs> yeah, we're down to 100 files or so to work on. Uh. Up for it. Okay.
let's call it a day. Call it a weekend. Well, actually, it's not a day completely. Yeah. So most of us, I think, will be there around two. See you there. Okay. Have okay. a good weekend, everyone. As always, thank you thanks. for what you do. And with that, I poof. <clears throat> oh, sunset, your mic's on. <laughs> and I'm off as well. Bye, Jess. Are we going home or sailing or what? Yeah, we we can go home first. Okay. <laughs> Willow, what a meanie you are.